Welcome everyone to williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Always loud and passionate, these folks are ready to roar. We've got a really compelling contest here, a team that's earned a top 25 ranking, heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, LSU Tigers taking on another SEC team, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Gamecocks offense trots out there to open this game. Here comes that star wide receiver with the swag. that kind of rubs opponents the wrong way, Kirk, because he's saying, I don't care who you are, I'm going to embarrass you today. Well, Chris, there's a rumor that this guy actually DMs the opposing corners before the game that he's going to go up against as if to say, hey, it's going to be a long day for you today. But the wild thing is he actually comes out and single-handedly unravels defenses to the point that by the end, it looks like he's in the heads of the opposing secondary. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So the counter play doesn't work. The defense in good position that time to make a play. You know, on most of these counters, you leave the in man on the line of scrimmage unblocked, and you try to pull those offensive linemen to kick him out. But if you have an aggressive defense, sometimes that can backfire, and the defense knew exactly what was coming there. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Lofting it toward the left sideline. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. The defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. They'll kick it away here. Oh, and he's got some space here. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So LSU's offense gets their first crack now. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kurt, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary, potentially a big play. Read option, the quarterback keeps it. And why he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Second down, we're going to throw it. Running out of time in the pocket. Couldn't find anybody open, and just has to throw it away. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. From the shotgun, drops back. It's an out route, the catch made. Tackled inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Second down now after the sack. Play action fake, looking to throw. 
little short connection to the tight end here. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. And they heave it deep downfield. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. Strong game by this quarterback. Well, a touchdown to a wide open man. Kirk, what in the world was going on on the defensive side on that play? Wow, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open the scoring. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Takes the handoff again. Nowhere to run up the middle. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long, and the defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. And the Gamecocks will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And it's a solid punt headed toward the sideline. And the punt heads out of bounds. They will spot this about the 35. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Solid game. Moves the ball to a 43. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line. Lowers his pads. And gets a nice, solid game. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Can he get there on the ground? They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And we'll see what he can do on the return. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Signs a quick throw. They get it down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. 
You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The Gamecocks looking to crank up the tempo a bit. They'll run it here. Breaking free at midfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain more than enough to pick up a first down. Really good patience here from the back. And anytime you have a big gain like this, that means the receivers are doing their job as well. That second and third level of the defense picking up some bigger blocks and helping them get even more yards. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? And he stopped after gaining four yards, so second and six. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try the right here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Going for a big play downfield. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over, and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. And the Gamecocks will bring their punt team onto the field. Kick goes out of bounds. They'll spot the ball near the 20-yard line. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together. Oh, that one's picked off. Look out, he's got some space. Touchdown, South Carolina. And the defense adds six with the interception return. How about that, Kirk? A defensive touchdown to tie this football game. Well, you only get a handful of those in an entire season. To be able to come up with that in this game, to tie the game, is just big time by this defense, and it gets them right back where they need to be. And now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, handoff inside. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. They'll stop with the 34. That will be a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. 
On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Finds his man. It's Thomas. Tackle, but first down. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this. It would be a great complement to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat in the SEC. Second down after that short completion. They'll hand it off. And it'll be smarter right at the line for no game. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains that you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. And a fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the punt will go out of bounds, taking the returner out of play. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Moving right through the contact. They get him down, but a solid run by the freshman. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. The Gamecocks hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Looking for some space. It's Sanders. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenged. And they'll loft this one deep to the left side. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Just ran away from the defense. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. The extra point gives him a 14-7 lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to move this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Finds room at the 30. The game is enough to move the sticks. Ball at the 40. 
How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Daniels. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Through the first quarter, both quarterbacks have been lighting it up as the stats reflect. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Offense getting set. It's second down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Teams are getting more and more creative with how they run their counter plays. Gone to the days of everyone under center running the counter tray. Now you're seeing it modernized. We'll see how many different versions they'll run today. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And they hit him just as it releases the ball. It's incomplete. When the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass, if they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play. But give them credit, they were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. The punt team making their way on the field. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop them this time. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. With the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The Gamecocks come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. And the wideout goes in motion. And the tailback's guided again. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that effect in defense. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Looking to throw. It's Sellers. Oh, and he can't haul it in. That's a crucial drop on a third down play. Here comes fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. They bring him down right at the 20. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and 10. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Tailback with another carry. That game moves the ball out to near the 25. Chris, it's the consistency of this back has given this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards. If he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Tackle right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now.
And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, help him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Daniels. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. Take it. Get the ball to your receiver. Stay ahead of the sticks. And they pick up the first on the ground. Really tough to run a good counter play when the linebackers aren't fooled at all. This time they get down in a hurry into the line of scrimmage to make that play. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And the returner will be brought down. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. The Gamecocks will come to the line to run the hurry up. Back to throw. It's Sellers. It's a quick grab. Look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. On first down, it's play action. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. Those big guys up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. On the ground, it's Sanders. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard again. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. I'd love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The defense with more pre-snap movement. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long from the 45. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Makes the catch downfield. One down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top five receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. And the Gamecocks look to keep this drive moving. Went back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that previous play. He'll feed the back again. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. The Gamecocks come up to the line in a hurry up.
They'll toss it to the right side. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Love the call here to get the ball to the edge, give it to a talented, skilled player where he can get to the outside, find some room, and get a first down. And the Gamecocks line up on first and ten now. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Tough running there, breaks a tackle, picks up the first down. This offense is clicking, clearly. Everything seems to be working. The coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. The Gamecocks are in the red zone now. They're going to run it here. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Dropping back, it's Sellers. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no flag, brings up third down. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Pressure is coming. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. A really good decision here by this quarterback just to get rid of that football, but I'm sure they're hoping for a few extra yards here to make this field goal attempt a little bit easier. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. Kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And that will extend their lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? And it's complete downfield. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. Chris, is it possible to be DBU and wide receiver U at the same time? I think the LSU fans think it's possible. They always seem to have great defensive backs. And they always have pass catchers that just show up and show out week after week, year after year. Grab behind the line, it's Daniels. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. And they'll stop him after a short game. four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Looking for his big tight end. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. That's a big play. Moves the ball down inside the 30. 
That was a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And, and when you talk about LSU and to talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019. But Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. Doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient, be a good leader, and complement the running game. And right now, you're starting to see that from this team. Good completion. Now, can you do it consistently? Because if you can, with the athletes they have around that position, they become a real threat. Second down after that completion. Looking to throw again. And he'll lost it to the end zone. Oh, it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. And he knocks it right through the uprights. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Russell. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. The last possession, they settled for a field goal, but really worked on the clock. Let's see if they can do that again with the lead. With the catch, it's Parker. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Looking to pass, it's Sellers. And he's got his man open downfield. Breaks free down the left side. End zone ahead. Touchdown, South Carolina. It was a foot race and he won it. So it's still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now, Kirk. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. Planning up to try the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Pickoff team has come on the field now to set this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And then Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. Quick throw to the left side, but they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Incomplete. Second down coming up. 
And he drops back in the gun. Looking for his big tight end. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Throws it to the right. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. Brought down, but the gain moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. That completion sets up a second down play. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Caught near the sticks. It's Thomas. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Great accuracy here by the quarterback, hitting his receiver in stride on that slant, and it gave him a chance to pick up some yards after the catch. The pocket breaking down. Caught quickly. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So on second down, they'll try out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. The attempt is no good. He missed it. He's still losing by 14 after the miss. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. So it's first down, but they'll just take a knee and head to halftime. Some of the crowd hoping for more, but the coach content to take this lead into halftime. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Men, it is hard to beat Columbia when that town is buzzing as it is today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. inside the 10-yard line and he stopped at the 19 good job by the coverage team and here comes that LSU offense back onto the field first play of the second half is a handoff I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football and by doing that they're opening up running lanes good positive yards there by the running back Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. They're going to run the option. Pitch play to the back. They make the tackle, but enough for a first down. Textbook execution on the option. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Handoff running right. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Mm -hmm. 
Second down play coming up. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. He has first down yardage at the 46. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Trying to find room, it's Williams. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Here's the second down play. They'll run it from the gun. Breaks loose at the 40. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Anytime you're down at halftime, you get your minds together, you try to make some adjustments, you try to get things heading in a better direction. This offense is off to a great start after this play right here. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Brought down, but broke the tackle to produce a solid gain there. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Tackle made quickly at the 11, but the offense in the red zone now. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Caught behind the line. It's Thomas. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Running back with the football. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short game. Convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. He's got it near the end zone. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. He missed it. Still losing by 14 after the miss. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. Here's the first play of the drive now from the 20-yard line. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Important second down play coming up. To the air, it's Sellers. And this one is caught. Defense surrounds it, just a short gain on that completion. 
the key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. The Gamecocks looking to use the up-tempo offense here. And he'll drop back here on third down. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. On first and ten, looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Receiver left alone, wide open downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. And the Gamecocks pick up enough to get a first down there. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. It's a shotgun run call. Oh, and he fumbles. Guy who pops it up, recovers it, and prevents the turnover. The ball is on the ground, but this running back has got to be elated that somehow he's able to get it back. I'll tell you who else is elated. The play caller and his head coach on the sideline. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that's the drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to this big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. It's Sellers. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Completion gains about six yards, but now it's a fourth down call. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. He was on target with his first kick. This one is from just 26 yards out. No problem. Knocks it right through. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Opening play of the drive. Quick throw to the left. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the the chemistry between these two. Second down play coming up for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Almost intercepted, falls incomplete, but a risky attempt there would have been his second pick today. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Hunter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Running back has it on a screen now. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. 
really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Hand off to the back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. the offense that hates to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores dropping back it's Nussmeyer and he lofts it toward the sideline this one's gonna fall incomplete brings up fourth down boy this is all about the defense here nice stop here on third down but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks once you get him behind the sticks you can mix up your coverages really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do now we've got another big fourth down coming up you'll call for the fair catch here and the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field kept out of the end zone last time had to settle for a short field goal can they improve upon that here? Fires it to the wide out. He's a wide open receiver complete. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The Gamecocks will crank up the tempo. And the back gets the football. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Offense in hurry-up mode. Gonna run it. It's Sanders. They've got him down out near the 40. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Third down coming up after that running play. Can he make it to the marker? Fighting for yardage, but the defense tops him just short of that first down marker. And the Gamecocks will bring their punt team onto the field. That's already his fifth punt of the game. Turner decides to fair catch this. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And the pass is incomplete. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. And on this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Second and ten here. On the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. They continue to feed the running back, but he's had nowhere to go today. They've been getting old at the line of scrimmage. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long 
inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Pass not complete. I like the call here. Third down and long, you know they're going to apply pressure. The screen game almost works, but you've got to complete the pass for your guy to have a chance to turn on field. It's a missed opportunity there on third down and long. Punt team ready to boot it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the fair catch is made, but there's a flag down. So let's sort that out. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Nothing to Nothing kick the kicker. Kick 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 Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. The offense will keep going here after that special teams penalty. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Hits the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Send the back in motion. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Makes a quick grab. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Here's the snap. He's looking to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. They finally stop him, but a big chunk play to wrap up the third period. wrap up the third quarter let's check out the quarterback from Harris this has been a terrific duel both guys putting on a show so far today crucial play here to begin the quarter as the offense sets up first and goal gonna run it it's Williams makes it across the goal line touchdown LSU well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for a running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. Now they line up to kick the extra point. is good. They still trail, though. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He'll return it from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the South Carolina offense is back out on the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. Grab down the middle. It's Brown. Solid game there. Moves the ball out to the 32. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. 
really it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. The Gamecocks come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. And off here from the shotgun. They've got him down out near the 40. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Testing the defense with a throw downfield. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. It's an option look. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And the Gamecocks will line up to kick it away. Butter getting a serious workout today on the punt for the sixth time. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. He's stopping right at the 24. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Makes a quick catch. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. They'll try to run for the first down. And they'll stop him just short of the mark. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. They bring the punter onto the field now. Wants to kick it away for the sixth time. And the fair catch signal for and take it. And the Gamecocks offense is back out there on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Handoff heading left. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with a lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. The Gamecocks looking to crank up the tempo a bit. They'll test the right side here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. Offense. Quarterback lost track of the play clock. And it'll cost the offense five. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. 
Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now at fourth down and long with the lead, tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. With the return, it's Thomas. Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Catch made on the right side. He's brought down, but not before getting into enemy territory at the plus 47. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. It's a run. Running back's got it. Runs through the defender. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff. It's Williams. They stop him, but it's a first down. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now. The shotgun running play call. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Pass complete on a crossing route. Tackle made after a big game. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually are a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. Grab behind the line. It's Thomas. Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. You talk about balance as a play caller. I don't know if it gets much better than what this offense is doing. Three runs, three passes, and all three passes have been completions. And now it's first and goal. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. The pass rush closing in. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second down and goal. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Intercepted in the end zone. Physical running fights off the defender. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that couldn't be the nail in the coffin. The South Carolina offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Close to the tight end. It's incomplete. They waited all game for a chance to intercept one. Instead, it's second down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Now here comes the bunch formation. The back's got it. Bites off a defender. And the Gamecocks will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. 
Back to pass. It's Sellers. Easy throw. A wide open receiver downfield. Stopped out at the 39, but good enough for a first down. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. On the run, it's Sanders. Now I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. A short completion of the tight end. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Oh, and it's incomplete and very nearly intercepted. They waste an opportunity for a much-needed takeaway there. And I think the quarterback here forces the ball because it's third down, but he's got to be careful having the ball on his own side of the field. That ball was almost picked off. The Gamecocks will have to kick this away. Bringing it back, it's Thomas. He's a dangerous returner. Found a good lane there. They finally get him, but excellent field position at the start of this drive. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Looking for the wide out. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Hey, you're down by a couple possessions late in the game. That's exactly how you want to start this drive. Let's see what they can do with it after that nice game. First down here for this offense. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. A completion makes it second and short. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Back to throw again. Snags a good throw. He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Hey, it's got to start somewhere. That's a nice conversion here on third down. You got a long way to go, but maybe a little momentum here. Let's see what they can do coming off of that nice play. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Fights off a defender. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. He'll have to throw it here on second down. He'll take a deep shot here. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. you got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. Quick throw to his receiver. 
And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain of that catch and run. I love to see this team fighting the way they are. Picking up a first down on that third down shows you they still believe. They still think they got a shot to come back and compete in this game. That's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets them right back into this game. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Touchdown, Tigers! This passing game is on fire today. What a score by this offense. And the greatest thing, Chris, is they still left themselves with a little bit of time. And now you're thinking onside kick if they can recover it. You never know. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Kick defense. defense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And the kickoff is hammered and sails out the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Handoff as they try to work the clock here. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. A solid run. Good for first down yardage. Looking for a gap, it's Sanders. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Getting set, here's second down. The shotgun handoff here. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. And the Gamecocks come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And the quarterback just kneels down. Well, there's nothing better than that. The home fans are excited right now. Their team is able to come up with a big win, and it's on to next week.